Hello everybody to the Kingdom Hearts 3 Lucky Emblem Guide. We're going to be taking a look at the Olympus world and all of its locations. So first up for numbers 2 and 3, these two are actually fairly easy to obtain. If you just go to Thebes Agora, you can reach both of them fairly easily. The first one is actually directly on the right hand side as soon as you come back Let's from see. the save point. As you can see here on the screen, it is directly in front of you and it's nice and big. It's always on that wall at the very end. Let's see. Number two, then if you go to the left hand side, all the way far left. Up the staircase on the right hand side. Hop over this little ledge over here and go all the way to the very end. You will see lucky emblem number two. Next up are Lucky Emblems number 6 and 7, which will be in the Thebes Agora uh, location as well. This time though, you have to go backwards, and it will be in this entire uh, Greenland location, basically on the mountain. You want to head all the way down to the very end of the river, and then up the actual side here, and climb up the wall. From here, you can actually go left or right, and for numbers 6 and 7, you want to go to the right hand side. Over here you'll notice a waterfall and there'll be some enemies that spawn up. But after you beat them, you'll see right here that the lucky emblem is actually right here behind the waterfall. If the waterfall is still there when you reach this, just go ahead and defeat the enemies that are in that location first and then afterwards the waterfall will disappear. For the next emblem though, you want to ride up the actual same waterfall and just keep going forward a little bit. Jump onto the climbable wall on the right hand side and keep going up a bit. From here make a left and you'll actually encounter some enemies. After you take care of the enemies you'll notice on the left hand side on the very ledge there's actually a little rock formation on top of a mountain part that clearly shows a Let's lucky see. emblem. Next up is number 5, which is going to still be in Thebes Agora save point. Now we're actually going in the same general direction as the previous Lucky Emblem, except this time we'll be making a left hand side at that turning point instead of the right hand side where the waterfall was. So right here where the turning point is, make a left hand side this time and climb up the wall. As soon as you make it up the walls, you'll notice these two pillars and on one of the pillars is the lucky emblem. Let's see. For lucky emblem number four, you actually want to go to Thebes Overlook. Now, there's actually two emblems in this location, but for the easiest one, go up the stairs and you'll notice that as soon as you exit the little corridor, at the very end at the wall, there's actually a lucky emblem. Let's see. Back at the save same point, instead of going up the stairs this time, you'll actually want to go downstairs this time. You can go ahead and skip the enemies that are in this location and just keep going forward. Sora! You want to go all the way down past the rooftops. And from here you'll just glide all the way down to where the pillars are. As soon as you land, you'll notice that on the right hand side, in a little kind of like smashed formation is the lucky emblem. Next up is 
Lucky Emblem number eight, which is going to be in the Mount Olympus Summit save point. You wanna head all the way in the backwards direction towards the area where you fought the Rock Titan. From here, you want to jump down the cliff where you fought the Rock Titan and head all the way down. From here, there'll be another cliff that you can jump off of. Do not jump here, and instead just keep going straight forward. There will be another pit on the left hand side. Don't worry about that. The emblem will actually be on the right hand side as soon as you take care of the enemies in a kind of string formation that's on a branch. Let's see. Find the next one. Emblems 9 through 12 will be in the Mount Olympus Corridor save point. Numbers 9 and 10 are fairly easy. The first one you can counter just going up these stairs and it will be directly on the right hand side in the middle of the second stage of the staircase. Let's see. After that one, head directly to the left and grind up this railing. You'll encounter a room, defeat all the enemies, and then go ahead and smash this pot. There will be a lucky emblem right behind it. Let's see. Back at the corridor save point, go ahead and go back up those flight of stairs that you were at before. This time, keep going on the right-hand side and go down that railing on the right-hand side instead. You'll encounter a kind of canal-looking thing where you can kind of slip and fall and such. Keep going all the way down and fall down the kind of waterfall that's there. You'll then arrive in the secluded forge, and this is where Lucky Emblem 11 is going to take place. Keep going downward, and you'll notice that the emblem is directly on the anvil that's in the middle of the forge. Let's see. Lucky Emblem number 12 will still be at the Mount Olympus Corridor save point. This time, directly from the save point, go all the way to the left hand side instead of the right. Go past the little sa sandworm thing that's there. And for this one, you'll actually want to go down the light rail. Once you make it all the way to the top, go to the left hand side up the staircase. Take care of the enemies that are there, and then once you're done with that, go all the way to the very edge. And in the distance, you'll notice that a cloud is actually in the shape of the Mickey Mouse things for the last lucky emblem. If you take a look at your lucky emblem collection, you'll now notice that all 12 lucky emblems for the Olympus world are now collected. Thank you so much for watching this video and I hope it helped.